The individual time trial at the Tirreno Adriatico always defines the race. This time, however, the time trial starting off proceedings, the first of seven stages, ultimately ending in San Benedetto del Tronto, usually the venue for exactly this. A straight time trial using the coast road, a turn at the halfway point, and then back for glory. The first awarding of the blue jersey would take place today, but upon whose shoulders would it rest? A big question. With Pippo Garner here and many other good time trialists, how would it pan out? Well, the benchmark had been set by Alex Dowsett, the only rider to go under 16 minutes, and Theo Gegenhardt set off determined to make his mark and indeed potentially build himself some bragging rights within a team where the leader is not yet clear. Gegenhardt coming home, 17 seconds in arrears of Dowsett's benchmark time. How long would it stand? Well, Dowsett sat in the hot seat for over two hours when Kasper Askreen set off. The Great Dane, spectacular time trialist that he is, great power, and on this course, that was the perfect combination. 60 kilometers is his usual effective distance, this very much shorter. Just shy of 14 kilometers, but he was finding his minute men out there and this was gonna be a good time. How good, however? Well, in the end, it was good enough to beat Alex Dowsett. Relief after two hours in the hot seat, he could finally go and warm up. Well, a rueful smile from him, but the big guns were still to come. Ghana, Evan Apol, and Tali Pogaccia himself, still to take on the course. The rainbow stripes tell a story, and Pippo Ghana is usually the hero when it comes to time trialing. He has come unstuck at this very race in the past, not living up to the billing, well, this was anything but. With benign conditions, not very much wind and constant throughout the day, Pippo Garner set off. Zigzagging around all of the manholes, it didn't look particularly pretty. And in fact, when he made the big turn, he almost clipped the barriers going through. Such was his determination to hit every single one of the apexes. He himself was finding riders out on the road, and this was clearly going to be the time to beat. Garner's time was absolutely exceptional. No sooner had Kasper Askreen taken the hot seat than it was stolen by Pippo Garner, and by a very handsome margin. 24 seconds to the good, it looked like he owned the place. Well, also out on course, Remco Evenepoel, his time, good enough for second place. He was two seconds down at the split. Turned it round to drift to 11 seconds. Tadej Pogacar then, wearing number one, the defending champion, the last off the ramp. Closing out proceedings, and indeed closing out all the opposition as he has done over the, the last few days, and indeed the last few seasons. Strada Bianchi on Saturday, he went on a 49 kilometer solo break did he leave anything behind on the mountains? Well, here he looked imperious and amongst those who would be gunning for the title in the end. He looked in a class of his own. Not enough, you understand, to beat the likes of Ghana or indeed Evanopol, but certainly good enough to cause a great deal of worry for those who would win the title. Danny Pogaccio coming home and looking like a champion in waiting However, the blue jersey will be worn by Pippo Garner. He taking the day ahead of Everdepol, Tele Pocaccia rounding out the podium, Askreen in fourth, and Alex Dowsett, an amazing time from early on, finishing fifth. Two days of sprinting are to come before the terrain starts to roll. Pippo Garner is rocking. Great work by the great Italian. He'll be a superb support rider into the mountains. And there's a few lumps and bumps, even though it's a sprinting day, as we head 219 kilometers to Sov Chile. Some nasty peaks to test the legs, but it should be the fast men that have some fun. And with a great sprinting roster, this race will provide yet another dramatic chapter. It always does. The Tirreno Adriatico is underway. <laughs>